understanding nanomaterials through quantum simulations. Hi, I'm Peter Krueger from the Engineering Faculty of Chiba University. I'm doing research on nanomaterials. That is to say, materials that are designed and controlled at the scale of a nanometer. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter, or just the size of a few molecules. In my research, I'm analyzing the structure and studying the electronic properties of new nanomaterials. The results should help for designing new materials that can be used to make electronic devices smaller, faster and more energy efficient. In order to find new nanostructures and to understand them in detail, we make theoretical models, write programs and do computer simulations. By comparing our results with experimental data, mainly from X-ray and electron spectroscopy, we can find the electronic state of the system in detail. This is important for understanding how these materials can be used in technological applications, such as electronic devices, but also for catalysis or chemical sensing. As an example, we have been studying titanium dioxide, which can be used for solar cells. In order to improve the performance of a solar cell, it is important to know how the charge is distributed and how it can move inside the material. But this depends very much on the defects in the crystal structure. Therefore, we have performed a new type of experiment to determine the defect-induced charge. We find that the charge from a single defect is spread over many atomic sites, which means that the charge can move rather easily. As a second example, we are studying magnetic molecules arranged on surfaces. Each such molecule is a tiny magnet, and if we can control the size and orientation of these magnets, they may be used in future for making new computer memory, which will make our computers and smartphones smaller, faster and less energy consuming. Here's such a molecule that we've been studying together with groups in Australia and Singapore. Our colleagues showed that nitrogen can be attached and removed reversibly from the molecule. In Chiba, we have been calculating the electronic state and X-ray spectra. Thereby, we can show that by nitrogen attachment, the magnetism can be turned on or off. We are also developing new theories and computational methods for example, for studying the effect of strong correlation in X-ray spectra. In the standard theory, it is assumed that the particles move independently. However, in reality, however, particles interact and therefore their motion can be strongly correlated. We have developed a method to take this effect into account. With our new method, we have been able to describe the X-ray spectra of a certain class of materials correctly for the first time. In summary, our aim in nanoscience is to discover and understand new physical effects by manipulating materials at the molecular level. This is the first step for the development of nanotechnology. Microelectronics has completely changed the world in the last 50 years. It is expected that nanoelectronics will do as much in the next 50 years or so. This will make our daily lives ever more comfortable and help reducing energy consumption. Since nanoscience is the basis of nanotechnology, it will remain a very active research field for a long time to come. In the last decade, new nanomaterials have been discovered where the interplay between magnetism and nanoscale electronics leads to very new phenomena. 
Spectroscopy and quantum modeling are key methods to understand these phenomena. We are using and improving them to look ever more deeply in the nano world and try thus to lay the basis for future nanotechnology. Come and join us on this exciting journey.